Generally speaking, a defendant doesn't have an affirmative legal duty to protect a plaintiff from a known foreseeable risk of harm. One exception to this general rule arises when the plaintiff and the defendant have a special relationship that justifies the imposition of this kind of duty. In Munn v. The Hotchkiss School, we explore one such special relationship. Fifteen-year-old Kara Munn was a student at the Hotchkiss School, a private boarding school. The summer after her freshman year, Munn went on an educational trip to China organized by the school. Before the trip, the school provided students and their parents with a packet of information to help them prepare. The director of the school's international program knew that tick-borne encephalitis was a risk in forested areas of northeastern China. The director also knew that the CDC recommended that visitors to these areas use insect repellent and wear long sleeves and pants. However, the school did not convey this information to parents. The trip included a hike up a forested mountain in an affected region. The students, who wore shorts, t-shirts, and tank tops on the hike, weren't warned to use bug spray. Mun and her friends got lost on their way down the mountain and finished the hike covered in insect bites. Ten days later, Mun came down with encephalitis and suffered permanent brain damage. Mun sued the school in federal district court and won a multi-million dollar jury verdict. The school appealed to the Second Circuit, but the court could not determine whether Connecticut schools had a duty to protect students from the foreseeable risk of insect-borne illness during school-organized trips. The Second Circuit certified this question to the Connecticut Supreme Court.